brother announces surprise engagement to high school bully girlfriend, family expects me to be excited, but I'm torn between loyalty to my brother and past. I, 19F, learned on a Zoom call with my family that my brother Harry, 22 meters, has just gotten engaged to just girlfriend Jessica, 20F. When Harry told us, everyone but me was pretty enthusiastic, but I just kinda sighed and said nothing. Harry didn't display any reaction towards my admittedly lukewarm reaction, but afterwards my mom called me and told me that I was rude for not being excited. She said that I need to respect all members of the family, including Jessica, and that I need to reconsider my behavior if I want to be invited to our vacation in the spring. Harry and I were really close growing up. Since he, and then I, started college, we've been less close, but him and I still talk every week or two. Harry and Jessica have been together for around two years now. Here's where it gets complicated. I knew Jessica back in high school, and she was not what you would call a kind soul. She had a particularly nasty streak. She would not pay attention during class and always tried to cheat off of people's homework, and I assume got away with it. She tried, semi-successfully, to steal my boyfriend. She bullied one of my best friends, calling her fat among other things. This bullying worsened, if not caused altogether, her eating disorder, and it's something I've never been able to forgive or forget. She is just one of those people who would just mess around with other people's lives like it's a game, and not something she is invested in. About six months ago, I had a heart-to-heart -heart with Harry about Jessica. I laid out my concerns and the history of her behavior, hoping it might make him reconsider or at least think deeply about their relationship. He said he'd consider what I said, but didn't continue the conversation much more. Since then, we talked regularly as usual, and things seemed normal between us. He d dnt talk about Jessica often, but he didn't hide their relationship either. I really was happy it sounded like it might be dying off though. I had no idea he was getting engaged to her until he announced it. I don't know if he has been telling other people in the family besides me, or if it was really just an abrupt decision. To make it worse, I am worried that he told Jessica about our conversation six months ago. In her announcement on Facebook, annoying ring on hand photograph in tow, she wrote something like I know not everyone in our families are supportive, but we have each other and that's what matters. So, he ignored my warning, and he told her all about it. Part of me wonders if I should just swallow my feelings for the sake of family harmony, but another part of me feels like I'd be betraying my old friend, my own values, and my brother by pretending to be happy about this engagement. And I am bad at holding back my truth. So, Ida for feeling upset and possibly wanting to voice my concerns again, even though it might cause friction in my family? Or should I just keep my feelings to myself and let Harry make his own decisions, and mistakes? I just feel like there's nobody who I can talk about this with that will really understand. Update 1. After reading people's replies, it sounds like the predominant opinion was that while I might not have been the asshole immediately, I would become one if I kept pushing too hard against my brother's relationship. And I really don't want Harry to think I don't support him, or to not talk to me about personal relationship matters. So, I pretty much had decided to keep quiet and just go along with whatever Harry wanted. On Tuesday, he messaged me asking if I want to be a bridesmaid, in Jessica's wedding party, or a groomsmaid, in his wedding party. After a little bit of back and forth, it became clear that he asked me because he knew I wasn't totally keen on Jessica, but still wanted me involved with the wedding. I was trying to be supportive so I said it would be great to get to know Jessica better by being a bridesmaid, though I wasn't exactly looking forward to the experience. I admit though, I had a little bit of an ulterior motive. From what I know of Jessica, she completely changes how she acts based on who she is around, which is how she manipulated Harry into proposing, of course. I thought that, just maybe, if I could show Harry how Jessica acts with her girls, he might reconsider his decision to marry her. Anyway, on Thursday I got added to a Facebook messenger chat named Brilliant Bridal Bitches wherein Jessica laid out her ground rules for being in the bridal party. They are, almost verbatim, 1. Participation in my bridal party is not just an honor, it's an investment. Be prepared to spend at least $1,000 on attire and accessories alone. I can make exceptions but only if you ask me. 2. I alone will dictate the narrative of my wedding on social media. Any premature posts, especially unflattering photos of me, will result in immediate expulsion. 3. Your weight will be monitored weekly. Anyone not fitting into their dress will be kindly asked to step down. This wedding will look picture perfect, and I can't have you ruining the aesthetics. 4. From now until the wedding, I expect you to be on call 24-7. Wedding emergencies are real, and your commitment to solving them will be a true test of your friendship. 5. You will fund and organize a lavish bachelorette party in my honor. Think exotic destination, luxury accommodations, and Instagram-worthy moments. 6. You will have fun. Not just for your sake, but for me as well. Upon reading this, I just burst out laughing. Screenshot, click. I think I might be able to convince Harry for marrying Jessica after all. I'm just deciding now if I should play it cool and act like the rules are normal but bring it up with Harry or maybe show my mother because I know it would make her flip, and almost certainly forgive, me for sighing when Harry told us about the engagement. Update 2. 
A lot of people were suggesting that I should be tricky and go to my my mother and ask to borrow money to make the appropriate investment for being in Jessica's bridal party. I thought about that but realized it would be a little bit too over the top. So, instead, I just sent a screenshot of Jessica's rules, and a couple other insane things she posted in the group chat, to Harry and asked for his advice, telling him I know I said that I wanted to join the bridal party to get to know Jessica better, but I'm worried it might not actually be good for me. Do you think I could bail and join your party instead? He called me instead of texting back and definitely sounded pretty surprised by what I showed him. I'm certain that the side of Jessica shown in those rules and other messages, including a new one saying that if your BMI is over 22, you are out of the wedding, in the group chat is not the side of herself that she showed to him. We had a good hour or so of conversation about what things were like between the two of them, and I learned a lot about where he was coming from. From what he told me, it sounds like getting married was really Jessica's idea. She had been going through some tough times later and apparently has struggled with depression in recent years. She's always wanted this perfect wedding and perfect married life, and she told him that it would make her feel better and fix all her issues if he proposed. So, Harry, being the good person that he is, did it. He took pity on her even though he didn't really feel ready yet. He says he doesn't regret it though. She has been so much happier since the proposal, he said, and he is no longer worried about her running away, or harming herself or worse. That said, he said he was still shocked by what she posted to her girls, and said he didn't know what to do next. I told him I am worried about him in his future if he stays with Jay. Sika and goes through with the marriage. He thanked me and hung up. He still sounded pretty shaken. The next day, he asks me to call him so I do that. He explains to me that everything was okay, and he talked to Jessica about the whole situation. She told him it was just a joke and the kind of thing her friends are used to sending in their messages. Apparently she apologized and said that it was her fault for not making sure I was on her level, Harry's words trying to quote Jessica, Fui you. I'm pretty skeptical of that, though. She seems serious to me. She also seemed serious when she messaged me privately, you are on thin ice. She also sent another message in the main group chat saying this is all of y'all's reminder that I need your full support, and any undermining of my and my wedding will have serious consequences. So. That's where things stand. I told Harry that I don't really believe it was a joke, and I believe that Jessica is trying to control him just like she's trying to control her bridesmaids. He just said that he is in a difficult situation, she is stressed out, and he trusts her. So that's where things stand. Apparently I am still in the darn bridal party. Dress stuff is happening in the next week or two. I really thought Harry would get to his senses but apparently not yet. Now I need to decide what the heck to do next. Update 3. I'm the girl who is in a messed up situation with my brother who proposed to his really not good girlfriend who I know from school. And, until recently, I was a member of her bridal party. Warning that this is dark and mentions suicide. So, the update, I had time at home for spring break, so I finally showed my mom the text messages from Jessica in person, including the insane list of rules for the bridal party and her follow-up message to me saying I was on thin ice after I told my brother. My mom seriously broke down. She didn't apologize for being mad at me when I wasn't pleased to hear the news from the H. Happy couple, but at least she doesn't seem to hold it against me. Aside from that though, I am honestly surprised mom took it as seriously as she did I thought she would say something more like well, it's his life, instead of butting in. Anyway, mom called Harry right away to talk to him. I asked her to put it on speakerphone and she did after a bit. I think that the combination of my own warnings, plus our mom's sheer exasperation at the whole situation finally caused Harry to come to his senses. He heard what mom had to say, and in that moment I was able to convince him that Jessica wasn't just joking around with her list of rules, especially with the help of the thin ice message. Harry sounded really shaken up and agreed to meet us without bringing Jessica along, phew. We had dinner at our house and discussed everything. To him, it sounds like he was more in love with Jessica six months ago than he is today. He said that over the course of more recent time, he's seen Jessica become more and more reliant on his support and he hasn't felt like there's much he can do except cave into what she wants, I think that seeing the tone of her communications with people outside the relationship meant him feel like her depression was more of an act than a real thing. I'm not a psychologist so I can't say how real that is, but I could believe it. Harry and our mom cried for a while and then came up with a plan for Harry to call off the engagement and begin to move out over the next few days. He went home and we stayed in close contact for a while. He told us he was feeling ready and did tell her that he needed to reevaluate some things on his own. Apparently, she did not take it well. Harry stopped responding to us for a day and a half and then called me. Jessica had begun saying that she had nothing to live for except Harry, and that if he abandoned her after all this time then she would have no reason to keep existing. Harry just cried on the phone and said he f. felt so trapped. I didn't even know what to tell him. I wish I had told him he needed to forget about Jessica and that she was only playing him, but I don't know if he would believe me anyway. Now Harry hasn't answered any of my calls and is only giving very short and slow answers to texts from our mom and I Jessica meanwhile made a Facebook post of a picture of a heart with tears on it saying if only you knew how much you meant to me, you would never hurt me. Says also posted a lot of nonsense in the brilliant bridal bitchots group chat and appears to be loving the attention from her friends. I don't know if she forgot I am in there, or if she wants me to see her messages and thinks it will make me feel guilty or something.
I just need to make sure that Harry is okay. To be honest, I don't really care what happens to Jessica. Sure it would be best for her to get help, but she has caused so much damage in the lives of people I care about and I doubt she'll ever stop. Like honestly fuck her, I just want my brother back. Sorry I'm writing this post all gloomily so far, to be honest, I think things will be okay. Harry and our mom both know that he needs to end it with Jessica, and now Harry just needs to make that happen. Then we can all laugh together about Jessica's BMI tracking strategy and minimum bridesmaid spend requirement.